Ever wondered why we say something is brand new or brand spanking new? Why not simply new? Well, buckle up. Because we're about to embark on a fascinating journey through the annals of language history. The term brand new dates back to the 16th century. Back then, brand didn't refer to a manufacturer, but to a piece of burning wood. Imagine a blacksmith, his forge glowing hot, pulling out a newly crafted piece of metalwork, still gleaming from the heat of creation. That's right, something that was brand new had just come fresh out of the fire. This term was so popular that even the great bard himself, William Shakespeare, used it in his play Twelfth Night, writing about some excellent jests, fire new from the mint. But language evolves, and as the centuries rolled on, the pronunciation shifted. The D in brand was dropped, leading to the term brand new. This variant even popped up in L. Frank Baum's The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, when the scarecrow gets brand new brains. But what about the term brand spanking new? Well, that takes us back even further to the 14th century, when span new referred to something as fresh as a newly cut chip of wood. The term originated from the Old Norse word span, a chip of wood. The spanking part, however, comes from the 17th century, but don't worry, it has nothing to do with corporal punishment. Spanking was an English word meaning something remarkable or unique, so for something to be brand spanking new, it had to be not only new but also unique. So there you have it. The next time you hear someone say brand new or brand spanking new, you'll know exactly where those phrases come from. They're not just about being new, they're about being fresh from creation, unique and remarkable. They're about capturing the excitement of something just out of the forge, still glowing with the heat of its making. In summary, brand new finds its roots in the 16th century, referring to items fresh from the forge. The term brand new is a phonetic evolution of brand new, popularized in the 20th century. Span new is an even older term dating back to the 14th century, referring to something as fresh as a newly cut chip of wood. And brand spanking new? Well, that's a term reserved for something not just new, but remarkably unique. Language is a fascinating journey, isn't it? It's like a time machine taking us back through centuries of human history, culture, and creativity. And now you're a little bit wiser about the journey of these intriguing phrases from their origins to your ears.